we're going to move on to old business. Okay, on uh, October 31st, we received uh, two letters from the Montana High School Association uh, with complaints that were filed by uh, Mike Ward and Jim Shreve uh, against the boys basketball program here in Florence. Um, basically, at this time, we are still under the investigation part of it, looking into these allegations and these complaints to determine whether or not there were MSHA rule violations for our open gym. Just to give you the basic gist of the complaints, there are two parts alleged in the complaints. Number one, that the head coach and the assistant coach were in Corvallis coaching um, during their open gym with organized scrimmages against Corvallis students. And the second part is that there was coaching that has been taking place in our gym during open gym time. So we are currently um, doing interviews with witnesses, trying to get to the bottom of what is happening so that we can uh, file our findings with the Montana High School Association and see whether or not there were any violations of their rules. And if there's anybody else here who wants to speak about that, And I'd like to address some of the issues in the, in the letter, if I may. Can I read this aloud? You may read it aloud. Currently, I am Sam Bearwalker's assistant basketball coach and have been since 2005. These last seven years, I've also helped coach in school. Stop. Sure. There's something going on in the background. Okay. All right. Sorry. These last seven years, I've also helped coach in middle school basketball in late October and early November. In the months of June and July of these years, I've many times helped Sam coach our sub varsity and varsity teams in summer basketball games or tournaments all across the state. All these games fall within MHSA rules permitting coaching during the off season. In spring and fall of these years, I've also helped supervise many open gyms many times. I've done so in strict accordance with MHSA rules which restrict actual coaching. Further, I need to stress that all my off-season assistance has been voluntary and that I have not received or expected to receive any pay for that service. My association with Sam and Florence is terrific. Young people provide me with a very fulfilling vocation. Watching our young men grow and develop continues to be a tremendous reward for me. Much of that reward stems as well from the terrific support I received from parents, board members, and the administration. All these have made me feel like I'm a valued and respected member of the Florence community. Now to the explicit purpose of these words. I'm here to address you regarding two groundless complaints sent to Mark Beckman of the Montana High School Association. These letters were written by Mike Ward and Jimmy Shreve. Both letters state that Mr. Bearlocker and I escorted our basketball team this fall to scrimmages against Dave Bradshaw and his Blue Devil team. Doing so, of course, would directly violate the MHS rules for prohibiting preseason coaching. Several assertions made in these letters are absurd, but I'd like to address two mentioned above. First, I have not seen or spoken with Dave Bradshaw, not even once, anywhere since last basketball season. Second, I have not been in Corvallis at any time for any reason since last basketball season. Thus, I could not have escorted any players there. Ward and Shreve's allegations are really moronic. On the two dates listed in Ward's letter, and by the way, it might be Shreve's letter, in order for me to instruct and critique players in Corvallis, I would have had to done so while fly fishing from the bow of a rubber raft 100 miles away. And Mr. Ward, unlike your scurrilous allegations, these fishing trips can be easily corroborated by five of the people I fished with. When I first read these letters, I could only imagine what work motives could prompt Mike Ward and Jimmy Shreve to write such an audacious dribble. Either they had sources 
of information that neither man attempted to verify or corroborate, or as I strongly believe they have simply resorted to an artless and witless pretense, which is a transparent and callous effort to disguise their real purpose, which is to get Mr. Bearwalker and I fired. Regardless, both these men through their letters have impugned my character and attacked my personal integrity, and that makes me angry. I have contacted my attorney and considering proper legal course against their libel. We're going to move on now to new business, student activity account discussion. Right. Student activity account discussion. 